<laughs> he's about to say he's about to drop 30 crowd about to go crazy back in your it'll make it clear it's your host Rob Lowe bringing y'all season 6 episode 35 and we back to the interviews we back to the humble yourself segments and today we're bringing on another positive person Miss T how you doing today Miss T I'm good Nice to meet you. And they got to know about that sauce. Now, you know, every time I think about your sauce, it's one song that comes in my head. You know what song that is? No. The Too Uzi, the Uzi song. Yeah, oh, okay. exactly, exactly. <laughs> hey, did you ever do like a promo video with that? that I song? did. I do it all the time. You smart. Yeah. You smart. Yeah. She yeah. way ahead. I'm about to try for the audience. She already knows what's up. <laughs> so talk about how you promote yourself, you know, and especially the name. You know what I'm saying? You got sauce with a W in it. Explain to the people why that is. So it's called that sauce with a W because it's a sauce inspired by DC's mumbo sauce. So the W is for Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. But my sauce, you can use it on everything. I say it's your new favorite condiment on it. On it. Um, so you can use it on like ribs as a marinade. You just want to dip it. You just want to like put it on some stuff. It's your like all multi-purpose like sauce. So that's how I came up with it. Um, so, so, yeah. and when did you come up with it? When did you... So, I started just in my kitchen, like, April 2021. Um, just in the kitchen, just experimenting more, like, during the pandemic. And then I gave it to my family. Then, you know, started letting everybody taste it. They said it was good. So, <laughs> I started letting my family, friends taste it. And I just started bottling People it People will tell you if your sauce is bad. Like, trust it me, it wasn't you know. this when I first made <laughs> it, but, it, you know. They was, they was working with They you. was working with That's you. what's they up. That's what's up. <laughs> now, it's always good to have support, but what did you have, like, any certain inspiration? Like, were you always into cooking? Or how did you get into, like, how did you decide, like, one day, like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the label. I'm going to put the mm-hmm. work in. How did you decide that? So, I mean, I've always kind of been, like, a big foodie. Um, so, it was kind of like me experimenting with it was, like, just something I wanted to just make in the kitchen so it wasn't really like far-fetched but like once I noticed people liked it I was like okay maybe I should like actually bottle it up you know as a side hustle then it just blew and blew and blew, so for sure for yeah. sure now I feel that that's kind of how like the podcast was like we were just talking our shit for real for real in the room like we was in high school college on the block all that mm-hmm. and we were like oh, we kind of nice at this right you might want to like start interviewing people you know what I'm saying so with this interview, the next question I want to get to is all the events that you got coming up. You know, I see that what you got um, <clears throat> the vibe vibe night on the twenty seventh. Mm-hmm. That's the first one, right? Mm-hmm. DJ Pressure up there. Shout out DJ Pressure. Mm-hmm. I rock with her heavy. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the events coming up and um, how you promote yourself at these events. Um. So yeah. So on the twenty seventh, I'm doing like the good vibe uh, night. Well, the night vibe with night them, vibe. and then yeah. on Friday, no Saturday, I'm doing a event with Free Space, and then uh, Otherworldly. Um, Otherworldly, I, I forgot that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, I got it written down. Yeah, but um, yeah, uh, Otherworldly the, tours, I believe. The Maker's Mark. Maker's oh, and then market. the Maker's Mart is so, yeah. so that's for my flavor butters. So okay. yeah, I'm just selling my flavor butters there. The sauce I like to do separately. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of uh, stuff in the city. Um, I try to just like promote like through my Instagram, uh, word of mouth. I drop my QR codes off everywhere. So sure, for sure. Yeah. So you just threw out the butter. You know what I'm saying? We've been talking about the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Butter with an A H. Mm-hmm. You know that that's just fly, or you, is that for the city too? Yo, yo, your boy Coach D here, man, with another one. Listen, Marie Handmade is doing something special for the fellas, man. It's doing something special for the fellas. If your confidence is not all the way there and you just need a little bit, a little push, a little extra sign to get you over, Big Dick Energy Body Butter. Yes, sir. Come and get a Marie Handmade. Nah, that's just me. Nah, <laughs> just I bet, me. Bet, that's bet, just bet. me. You may as well keep it rolling, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the butter and how you, the process of making that, mm. you know, how, how it differs from the sauce. So, I mean, the butter, I was just, it was a random idea, too. I was already starting with the sauce first, and then I went on Etsy. I was selling the sauce on Etsy, then I was just wondering who made flavor butters on Etsy, and nobody was really making it, so I just 
want to like challenge Untap myself. Brain. Yeah, I want to like challenge myself and like try to make it, and that just started coming up with different flavors and. I just I, now we have seven flavors working on the eighth flavor. List them out. Listen so out. we got garlic parm and herb, mm. uh, Cajun onion, cinnamon honey, um, honey obey. That's like one of my favorite. Okay. Lemon blueberry is like my favorite sweet one. Uh, we got maple and then maple candy bacon. Oh. And we have a chipotle lime. I'm working on bringing that one back out. So that'll be the eighth flavor. Damn. So you can yeah. real nice put like that on some breakfast, lunch, and dinner mm -hmm. if you got all them jumps. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so give me three foods then. Let's go like breakfast, lunch, and dinner with. Like, give me three items, you know what I'm saying, that would go best with some of them butters. Like, match it up for me. Um, okay, so. So, I'm fat, so I'm trying to think. Like, <laughs> I saw with the Cinna Honey one, I made, a, like, you can make, like, a little monkey bread, like a Cinna Honey monkey bread. Okay, or you can okay. put the maple one on some pancakes. Maple bacon on some pancakes is really good. Lunch time, you could do like, you know, like a little steak or something with the right. garlic butter, you know. Um, dinner, you can make like pasta. I like the Cajun onion butter. Yeah, hungry as so. <laughs> The Cajun onion butter, good. You can make, you know, uh, you can make pasta, toss it into your pasta, you know, things like that. For sure, for sure. Nah, that's all, all good options for real, for real. And I want to know about. The way that you promote on your website also, because I'm looking at the website, right, and the, the butter is like, I seen it, I can't remember exactly the combo it was, but it was like, it had the powder on top and it had like the actual ingredients, like of the butter, like underneath, like the the, the can, you know what I'm talking about? Am I, am I tripping? Yeah, I think you're tripping. Because it was like, <laughs> nah, nah, it was like one that had like lemons on the side and it had like. Oh, the Blue. lemon blueberry. Yeah, 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 like yeah, the, yeah. The way you displayed on the website. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I, that's fine. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, for oh, sure. Okay. I like details and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I always wanted to ask you how you how you came about that. Like, how did you decide to display it in that like way? The, yeah, just because people are visual. So, like you said, like if you see blueberries on the side and like a lemon, you're like, "What was this?" You're gonna be more intrigued to like actually look at the product and see what it is. Like what you know what's it about just if it looks good so um, i try to make everything like visually a appealing so like whether it be like the logo like how i shoot content or just things like that i try to make it like aesthetically pleasing that's how you're supposed to do it and um i want to ask you now you know you've been doing it since 2021 you know that you're nice you know what i'm saying you're getting into these events you get into these interviews so i want to know as of right now what's your goal like what's your ultimate goal with the sauce with the butter um so my goal right now is to get the so i'm trying to get into this program to get the sauce into the store so that's like my first immediate goal okay. um the long-term goal is to get the butters and the sauces into like big stores like costco target you know samsa stuff like that sure. let's go let's go small small scale first though so mm -hmm. talk to us about the program and the, the process of you trying to do that so with the program uh you just well the program specifically that i'm trying to get into is a uh, dc based i don't want to say the name but like dc based uh market and they have uh, uh they're gonna have eight at by the end of the year so once i get into that program then my items will be on their store shelves so but i just have to save up a certain amount of money to get into the program so i just been working events trying to get the sauce out there and to make more money to get into the program so so that's that's the stories that we need to hear. So now you know the process. Of the, you know what I'm saying the small sauce brands and food brands go through. They try to get their things in the stores mm -hmm. and to support them first, and then you'll be able to have more access to them in the later days. And mm -hmm. that's how we're gonna do it, T. Yeah, yeah. Love, peace. Thank you. But this one is the original, so it's sweet and tangy. Um, this one is, for me, it's like a multi-purpose sauce. If you just like regular, like nothing too, too spicy. Um, this one is my personal favorite. This is the Millionaire Mango flavor. If you like a little tropical twist, um, this is a good twist on just a sauce to have. Um, yeah, so this is this one. And then we're working on the third flavor. We don't have it just yet, but we are working on a spicy mango. Um, which will be out soon.